okay nothing more nothing less okay and that's just on that hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is dariana if this is your first time here don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you like me and if you like this video so today i'm about to do a mukbang you know i'm like i want to go get some food and i want to do a mukbang i never did a mukbang before do people do still do mukbangs i call them mukbangs mukbang 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 bang 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 so yeah i'm about to go get me some food and i just want to sit in my car and just chill out and just talk because why not it was a nice day today and you know i just want to go and just oh <gasps> i don't know what i just hit but that was really bad but yeah i just want to go and go get me some food go grab me some food really fast i'm about to go to canes if you've never been to canes it's a little chicken put on my seat belts you know, i gotta put on my seat belts um it's like a little chicken spot they sell like chicken tenders chicken tender fries and they like they real good they just put one over here by my house oh okay that's real different but yeah they just put one over here by my house so they just put one over here by my house so i'm actually really really excited about i'm really really excited oh my god my hair what in the world yeah i had to take my hair down because yo like my braids was just like they was doing the most but yeah i'm on my way over there because i just wanted to go get me some food i didn't want to sit down and eat nowhere I just want to go and grab me some food real quick and then just chill out and sit in my car and film a mukbang. Mukbang, 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 You know? I'm like, I don't even know if people still do mukbangs, but I'm like, I wanted to do one because why not? You know? Why not? I feel like I'm always in my car. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, what in the world? Ooh, I feel like I'm always in my car anyway, so why not? Yo, I'm trying to position my phone right, see my camera right. But yeah, I'm about to go over here. It's literally only like 10 minutes away. So I'm like, yes, I'm about to go get me some food because I'm hungry. And I was about to go to the park too, just like go to the park, chill out, look at the lake or something. Cause it's just a nice day and I just don't feel like being in the house. You know, I'm like, it's a nice, beautiful day today. Why be in the house? You can go get you some food and just chill out and just, I could just have my alone time. And then I could just sit here and talk to y'all. Whoever's listening. I feel like my camera is like, um, really bright. Yeah. So yes, I'm about to go. Let me know if y'all have a Canes. Where are you from? And let me know if you like it. At first, I did not like Canes. I thought Canes was really nasty. I used to be like, ill. Like it was gross. I really did not like the like the uh, what is it called? The Caney. It has has this sauce called the Caniac sauce. And I did not used to like the Caniac sauce, but now I'm just like, it's so good, y'all. My face is breaking out so bad. But yeah, I did not used to rock with that. No, I used to be like, yo, this shit is nasty. But now, I don't know. Like, one day, I think I had I had, had it when it was like, when I was like kind of intoxicated. I was really drunk. And you know, when you eating something, when you drunk, and I don't know why, it just like, it just be hitting for no reason. But yo, I was eating that thing, and that thing was hitting. I was like, yo, this shit like way bang for real. I don't know what happened, but ever since then, I just been liking it. So, yeah. And before, they always used to have like the canes on the west side, and it's like I live on the east side, so it's like nobody feel like driving all the way to the west side to go to canes. Don't like like doing all of that. 
but now they have moved it on the east side like they moved it in like two locations one place closer to like my job and then the other place is like closer to where i live so i was like yes boo boo kitty we about to go get us some games mm -hmm. and i got my glasses on today because i'm like i don't know makeup i'm out here looking like a little boy named jimmy and oh hell no it's a train oh fuck no I gotta sit here and wait at this goddamn train and I can't even go in no other direction because the train is connected so you know what I'ma just touch base with y'all when I get to Kane's yeah and get my food mm -hmm. I'm hungry I'm trying to sit down so I'm finally in the line. Y'all look at my muscles. Ooh. Yes, I'm finally in line. I'm about to order my food. As soon as this homegirl come back. So hold on. Sorry about that, Wade. You're fine. Good for you. Um, can I have the box combo? Okay. And can I substitute the coleslaw for extra fries? Yeah. And can I have an extra toast? Okay. And an extra caniac sauce. Okay. What drink would you like with that? A lemonade, please. Would that be all? Yes, ma'am. Okay, 11.46 is your total. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like your car. Thank you. You need a car wash. It's dirty. <laughs> it is. Thank you. Yeah, have a nice night. You too. You see, I like this one better because, y'all, when I tell you, I went to the Canes on Mayfield and this, that shit was so ghetto. I'm sorry, like, it was just beyond me. Beyond me. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Oh, and then you can see the inside of here, okay? Okay. All right, what am I gonna put this on? I don't even know. Oh my God. Put this down here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start coming to this one now on because this one is way more organized. Okay, I'm about to, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna like cleaning. I'm about to stack out here. Because I'm not like. I know that's racist. I wouldn't either. See, yo, when I was when I tell y'all when I was at Mayfield, it was so ghetto and it was so unorganized. The girls was at the window just being extra as hell. I was just kind of just like yo what is y'all on right now this one is very organized everybody's doing what they're supposed to do everybody ain't acting just ghetto you know nobody's the line isn't long like this is nice i like it over here i'm about to start coming to this one and it's not far from my house so mm -hmm, we love it here i just gotta find me a spot where i'm gonna eat at i'm probably gonna park my car and like eat up here so i want my food to be hot Girl, by no, it ain't. They talk about them gas prices, girl. Them, these gas prices is not cheap. These gas prices is ridiculous. Oh, my boo coming. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. I'm excited. Ooh, I'm excited, boss. I'm excited, boss. Okay. So, I'm about to eat because I'm excited. Uh, how do you do? I gotta do a, um, what is it called? A, um, a thumbnail. You know when they be doing like the little moonbangs and stuff? They make like a little thumbnail. How do you do it? How do you do it? Is it the chicken? <laughs> okay, one, two, three. No. No. I don't know. One, two, three. No. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna eat. 
So yeah, this is my food look like. It look good too. Yeah, this look good. My car up because I don't want to run in my kids. I don't know what they be doing. And I got my extra bread. I don't know what they be doing to this bread, but the Texas toast. Oh, it's so good. I hope I got a good thumbnail. If not, oh well. So, yeah. And this is the Caniac sauce. Can y'all see it? Y'all see the sauce? It's cool. It got like a little pepper taste to it, but it's okay. What do you want? Sorry, I got a call. But... Y'all, I hope I don't start smacking. <clears throat> I'm a smacker. Unfortunately, I am. It's not good. But when food be hitting, you just can't, you can't help it. So, yeah. I just wanted to do a mukbang about, like, mm, just different things that... <clears throat> I feel like I'm like learning like in my mid 20s because I'm just feel like it's feel like we just go through so much in our 20s like me and me and, and woman like we just go through so many different things so many different stages in life and It can be really overwhelming to me. Well, overwhelming, period. So, I was just like, you know, that's what I want to talk about today. And it's like, I was going to do this video, like a sit down, like a little chit chat, get ready. No, I'm just like, girl, just eat your food and talk. Do a move, bang, 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 bang. So, I'll say, for me, Pause, let me eat the bread. Mm-hmm. 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 It's good. Mm. Who else be? Do y'all dance while y'all be eating? I do. I'll be happy. Because the food be good. Like, this is good. Yeah, anyway. As I was saying. So, like, I was saying. Like, let's do, like, seven things. Seven. Seven or eight. Whatever. I don't know. So, let's do. Let's do, like, seven things that. Me, myself. Like, I'm learning in my 20s, mid-20s. Because I feel like in your early 20s, I don't know, depending on a person, you just be doing anything. And I feel like in my early 20s, child, I was doing anything. And I was not very self-aware. You know, I feel like I wasn't dumb. But I just wasn't making the best decisions for me. I'll say that. And it's like, you're young. You don't really know. But now that I'm older now, you know, I'm about to be 28 this year. Virgo gang, September 15th, period. But like, now I'm older. I'm maturing. I'm figuring out like what I want, what I like, what I don't like, who the type of, the type of people I want to be around, the type of people I don't want to be around, you know, things about myself that I need to improve on, you know, and all that jazz. So, mm -hmm. so I'll say for number one for me is like 
my belief in God now. I feel like, I don't know, everybody got a different type of belief about, like, their faith or their type of um, religion. But I will say for me, for me, like, I know who God is, you know. I'm all about God, me and we best friends. So I just feel like, oh, excuse me. Like, just my relationship with God has been, like, completely different now that I'm in my early, now that I'm in my late 20s. Like, I feel like before, you know, like, when you were, like, in your early 20s, like I said, depending on the person, like, you know God, but you don't know God. Like, your belief is not all the way there with God, for real, for real. Open the window, because y'all, it's a little hot in here. Like, your belief in God is not really, like, all the way there. And two is, like... For me, I had to start going. I had to start going through certain situations in my life, and I really had to like turn to God, and for Him to like really like get me through that. Not saying He didn't get me through it before, but I wasn't as knowledgeable or understanding as I am now of why certain things happen, and just the fact that. I got through those things means that God was with me that whole time. So I say that and it's just like now I feel like I pray about things all the time before I do something. I pray about a person. I pray about certain situations like some things I just hand it to God because I just like you know what some things just not in my control no matter how much control I would love to have. They just not and people are going to do things and things are going to happen that's just not in my control and it's in God's control and I gotta just leave it up to him honestly so yeah and I just feel like when I was in like one of my oh look at that chicken that looks so crispy look at that chicken is it gonna zoom you gonna zoom or what oh oh my camera act is so stank Mm. Y'all see the chicken. I'm dead. But mm-hmm. I gotta show y'all how to dip it. You gotta dip, dip, dip. You know, put that dip into it and then Oh, hot. God damn. Who But. Like I was saying. When I was in like one of my like. Darkest times in life. Like I'll say like last year. I was going through the most. You know. And. I don't try to find my straw. Where's my straw? About it, about it. Yeah, I was going through like the most, and you know, I talked to God, I prayed about it, and I, I remember this day specifically. I was going through so much stuff, like in my previous relationships, stuff like that. I was going through so much, and I just remember I got on my knees and, oh, that's so nasty. That's not nasty, but I, I just said I got on my knees and. I'm cutting it out. <laughs> but I just remember me. I just got on my knees and I prayed. I asked God to give me strength. I asked God to help me through whatever situation. The situation I was in. Help me get through it. I asked God to give me guidance. I asked God to just help me. Literally. Like that's what I asked of him. And he did it. You know like. I don't know. Like he gave me like the strength. And I felt like I felt I was like so powerful. I mean, I still am, but I feel like in that moment, I felt so weak. But, you know, when I talked to God and I really just, like, put in the work and I put in the, like, the effort to really change my life around, that's when things start changing. So, yeah. I will say, in my 20s, 
people want to FaceTime me. Pause. Hey, y'all, I'm back. So, I was over here talking on the phone for a second. And I'm like almost done eating, kind of, sort of. But I still got food left, so I wanted to eat. But one wanted to finish before I, yeah. So, yeah, I'll say my first thing that I'm learning is, like, God. So, next thing I'll say is about, like, friendships. So, excuse me, like, so, like, me and, like, friendships, I would say, like, friendships is, like, really, it's a tough conversation for me, but at the same time, it's just, like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's, like, I'm the type of person where it's, like, I value my friendships with people. Like, I have a very, very small circle, like, very small, like, I can count on one hand how many, like, real friends I have, and, you know, like, it all it all like kind of trickles down back to when I was like a in like yeah in my younger years but like I just felt like sometimes I just couldn't really keep you know like certain friends or like you know when a friend that did like some dirty stuff to you and it's like yo whole outlook on certain people are just like eh no but the ones that you do have you keep close to you so I feel like that's where kind of like where I'm at now and I feel like I've always been the type of person where it's like I've always wanted to have like you know like I think about when I get married and like you know like my bridal party and stuff like that and like how many people like how many bridesmaids and stuff I want and I was thinking about like wow I really don't have like a lot of bridesmaids for real for real and it's like that part it bothers me because I'm just like you know I want to have like really good genuine authentic friendships with like women you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be around women who, you know, like, inspire me, who, like, love me, who support me, vice versa. And, you know, like, we all just, you know, it's no type of, like, bad, you know, it's not like no type of bad, bad vibes. And even though, like, we going, we go, we're going to go through our things, like, I want to just be able to have a conversation and you know like talk about it come to a common ground and like let's fix it and move forward and i feel like as of lately i feel like i was just having like really a hard time with keeping like certain friends and i feel like some of those friends i feel like they probably came and left for various reasons why i don't know but in a sense also i felt like i was kind of like shielding myself because I feel like I don't like to become very, very vulnerable with people especially with sometimes with women because I feel like and that's just men with women or relationships which I'm learning to heal from that but at the same time it's like still like you just you know certain people just don't have good intentions or certain people just don't you know want to see the best for you some people like I feel like I was in I had friendships where we were like they were competition or like jealousy and all those things and I'm just like I just don't like those things and it's just like I'm not even the type of person I don't even like to say that like a person is jealous of me because I just don't think that like why would they be jealous of me like you know you are who you are I am who I am you're special I'm special like we all you know like you are made like how you are for a reason I'm made how I am for a reason so like why you know, like, why can't we all just, like, be cool and just support each other and, you know what I'm saying, just be, you know, like, grown boss women together or, you know what I'm saying, just be, like, you know, like, genuine friends. And I feel like <clears throat> it's just always been really, really difficult for me to just keep a really... Now, I'm not going to say keep because, I, like I said, I do have friends, but it's really hard for me to, like, all of my friends are kind of, like, separate. You know, like, I have a friend for this, friend for that, friend for this. You know what I'm saying? Which is nothing wrong with that either. But, you know, I think to myself, like, you know, I want to have, like, you know, a group of friends that it's like we all get each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all, like, we all inspire each other. We're all supporting of each other. We all boost each other head up. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just, like, we just, we fuck with each other. And it's real. And it's authentic. And it's, like, it's genuine. And it's, like, that's what I want. And it's, like, no type of bad vibes. And it's, like, we all just, like, support each other. Nobody trying to look down on nobody. Nobody trying to, like, you know, rub shit in nobody's face. Like, none of that stuff. And 
I just found myself always getting into those type of situations. But it's like now, like I said, and I've kind of went through this process now and then in my earlier 20s but now i'm in my late 20s and like i'm kind of figuring out just the type of people women i want to be around and just the type of people i don't like the type of people who are just going to align with where i'm going and you know whoever doesn't you know it's like that's okay too like i still i still value the friendships you know what i'm saying because it's like just because they're not going on the same path as you, that doesn't mean like they don't genuinely want to be friends with you or it doesn't mean the friendship isn't genuine or the friendship isn't authentic. Authentic, Y'all just aren't in two different paths and two different lives, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, I don't want to be around type of people I want to align myself with, type of women I don't want. Like, I don't want nobody around me that's like secretly like envious of me or just like secretly envy or i don't want to feel like somebody's trying to like be in competition with me you know what i'm saying like i'm just i don't want those type of things or you know what I'm saying? i just want something i just want to be friends with genuine people you know what i'm saying genuine women and that's just what i want so i just feel like at first i was never type of person i'd be like Oh, yeah, I'm about to go make friends. And now I'm in a space where I'm just like, you know what, Darian, if you want to meet, have those type of people, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to, like, you know, attract those type of people. Or, like, if you see a girl that you feel like you would like to be cool with that seems like she's, like, really nice or whatever, then don't be scared. Like, I've always just been kind of like, eh, I don't know. Like, I don't like to force stuff. I like to let things kind of just, like, naturally happen with friendships. Like... I'm not type of person. I don't like to just go and be cool like with a popular person. If it's like, if it ain't that, it ain't that. If that makes sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm going to be friends with this person, it's going to be because we genuinely like each other. We're genuinely friends. We genuinely just like, we clicked. You know, like, so it's like, I don't like to force situations with people. I like to just let things, you know, be what they're going to be. You know, we're going to be cool. We're going to be cool. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? Or if we don't mesh, then we just don't mesh. And it's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah now because i'm just like child i ain't got time to be dealing with people with women because i feel like a lot of the times like us as women we can be very catty very prideful me myself that's something i had to learn and it's just like we can just be very just overly emotional about certain things when it's like it's not necessary it's just it's not and it's like sometimes i look back on relationships or friendships that i've been in and I just feel like, dang, like that was could that was a could have been a really great friendship if we could have just talked it out and came to a common ground and just not let our pride get in the way. You know what I'm saying? But other in other situations, I think of like, you know what, God brought that person in my life for a reason, and they're that person not in my life for, you know, they're not here for a reason now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like who people come to your life for reasons, seasons, and a lifetime. So, you know, if they're not here no more, then they came, they played their part, and now they're not there. That's kind of messed up way to think of it. That's just kind of how, you know, I've adapt, adapted to just certain things in certain situations. So, now, we're going to talk about relationships. Because, you Mm-hmm. say now that i'm in my late 20s i am i'm gonna just say this i am not playing <laughs> like i ain't playing i ain't playing with my heart no more and that's where that's on god like i feel like when i was in my early 20s i feel like i was just like i knew what i wanted but then again i didn't know what i want if that makes any sense like I knew what I wanted, but I just did not know what I wanted. <laughs> and then it's like, at the same time, I feel like I had a lot of broken tendencies about myself, a, broke, a lot of broken things that I had to heal from to where like, now I'm just in a place where it's like, listen, if you gonna come at me, you gotta come correct. Cause I'm not for the shits. And it's like, I'm not saying I'm giving myself like any, um, like, I'm just not lowering my standards. And it's just like, I'm not dealing with nobody that's disrespectful. 
I'm not dealing with no I, I don't even want to deal with nobody that's like kind of drinks like I don't want to deal with that type of stuff I don't want to talk to nobody that smoke I don't want to no I'm sorry call me whatever you want to call me but it's like I don't do those things so why would I want to date somebody that does that makes just no sense to me you know what I'm saying like I just don't you know like if you drink okay like it's just as long as it's not like over excessively drinking like you just drinking for no reason you know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes we all need a little drink or something like that. But, you know, like, as long as you got it under control, I just cannot deal with that no more. And I just told myself I am not, I will not date anybody who is just disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Like, our vow, like our vows, our morals have to align with each other. And, you know, like, I'm not trying to say, like, I, I'm not going to say I'm going to date a guy that who, like, <clears throat> my... Like, I have to date somebody, oh, he got to make six figures type shit. It's like, of course, I will want to, it would be nice to meet a guy who has that, you know, that is at that caliber. But at the same time, being realistic, I understand, like, especially in our 20s and our late 20s like that, people, we trying to get to that level. So it's like, I'm not expecting for a dude to be on that type of level. If he is, that's amazing. If not, that's okay. As long as as he's trying to at least get to where he wants to get you know as long as he has a dream and a goal and he has a purpose i'm gonna say that he has a his no he knows what his purpose is and he's going after that in a healthy fashion i want somebody who is emotionally emotionally intelligent has emotional intelligence and who has just great character because I've just been in situations where it's like I'm not dating a guy who just like yeah you got money but your character is trash like you can have like and that's my thing now like you can have all the money in the world but if you have a stank like if you are just a stank individual like you are just like not it like you are like trash like no I'm not dealing with that like and it's like because I've dealt with that and I'm like I'm not dealing with that shit again you know what I'm saying like just because you got a lot of money that don't mean absolutely nothing if your character is not even aligned that means you just operating yourself out of your money like you feel like you're more valuable because you have money so you can like think that you could treat people any type of way and I'm just I, that's not how I'm cut and <clears throat> I'm just not going to deal with somebody that's like that I'm just not because it's like that just tells a lot about me as a woman because I chose to deal with that type of person and it's just like you as a man like I'm just like no I'm cool I'm straight. I'd rather be alone. Not saying I want to be alone for the rest of my life, but I'm just like, I'm to the point where it's like, I just don't, I'm not settling. And y'all, like, it's the way things are now, it's like, it's literally hard to try to date. It's hard. It's hard trying to date these men. Mm mm. Cause some of y'all, y'all ain't it. Now y'all be having the money, but y'all character be trash. And it's like, it shit is not cute. It ain't cute. You know? But also, as a woman, you gotta look at yourself like, why am I choosing that? What am I lacking? Or what am I, I feel like I'm broken of that? I feel like I have to have that. You know what I'm saying? That's something I had to like really look at myself and be like, you know what? Where was I broken at in this area to I feel like I needed to be with that type of person? You know what I'm saying? Like, why did I feel like I need to be with that type of person for security or whatever the case may be? Because as women, we want to have security, of course. And we want to feel protected. We want to feel, you know, safe. And that's a big thing for me now. Like, I have to date somebody I feel safe with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, if I don't feel like I feel safe with you, I cannot. If I feel like it's a possibility that you can possibly do something to me or you know i can sense like a little anger is no i mean we all get angry but it's how you handle your anger no mm -mm. nope not me i ain't got it so yeah so it's like i just very just being very very intentional about the type of people of a man that I want in my life I want somebody who's going to be a leader you know what I'm saying who's going to lead my if I have children my kids got to look up to you like if I have a son I want my son to look up to 
they dad you know what i'm saying like if i got a daughter i want my daughter to look up to me i want my my son to see yeah my my dad he's a provider but he's also he has great character he treats people kind you know what i'm saying he has a good heart he's gentle when he needs to be gentle but he also is masculine you know what i'm saying he's not like overly he's not arrogant he's not an asshole none of those things like i just want to be with a stand-up type of man you know what i'm saying it's just like a lot of these men nowadays it's just like they operate so much out of their money because they feel like their money is what who what defines them and it's like it's not what defines you i'm sorry it's not you know what i'm saying like that's cool that you got money but which like take the money away who are you as a person who are you as a man how you treat your mama Like, how you treat your mama? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you chivalrous? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you treat your friends? You know, like, how do you talk to people? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like all of those things, like, come into play. And it's like, now I am not playing when it comes to no man because I don't got time. I ain't got time. You will get deleted and blocked by. Sorry. And it's like, I'm not sending a person out, oh, you got to buy me all the nice bags. Because like I said, material, like, if you take all the materialistic things out of the stuff, like, don't get me wrong, like, that stuff is nice or whatever. Like, what girl doesn't want, what woman doesn't want to be spoiled? And of course, what man don't want to be spoiled? Because it's like, come on, like, we got to be both, you know what I'm saying, take both, of, both into account. You know what I'm saying? Like, but at the same time, it's like, that's not, that's not all that matters. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not all that matters. Like, all this grown boy shit, no. And don't get me wrong, like, me personally, I had to even look at myself. Like, you know what, Darian, you got some little grown girls, like, some little girl tendencies, too. You got to fix that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, but that's what I had to do. And that's, guess what? That's what I'm doing. So now it's like, I look at me and this stuff a totally different type of way. Fixing my daddy issues and shit like that. My dad was in my life, but at the same time, my dad still did little things that I felt like, really triggered to the type of men that i was going after or not going after that was you know attracting to me and i feel like now i'm at a space where i'm just like i i want healthy no more toxic energy you know i'm like humor i'm like i need me a man where we gonna build together we he gonna support me i'm gonna support him we both working on our dreams Ain't nobody getting jealous of nobody. Ain't nobody in competition with nobody. Like, I think that's weird as hell when you in competition with your spouse. Like, that's weird as fuck. Why are you in competition with your spouse? Like, y'all supposed to be working together. Y'all on the same team. We on the same team. Why are you trying to compete with me? Why are you being weird to me? Like, what the fuck is that like? Like, no. It just does not read to me. And I just feel like I just don't want to be with nobody I'm in competition with. I need somebody who's going to, you know, we elevate each other or like we working on things together. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's going to be, you know? And we supporting each other. Like you genuinely, you genuinely want to see me be my best. And I genuinely want to see you be your best. And that's on that. And we can have a family. We're going to travel the world. All that good shit. You yeah. know? Okay, these fries are gross. So, yeah. I just went on a big rant about the men. I mean, about relationships. Because, honey, relationships is something else. And it's like, you hear these podcasts about these dudes. And it's the women and the men. It's like, we are kind of all against each other. And it's kind of just like, that shit is unhealthy, yo. Like, what in the world? I feel like... We all got to do better. But yeah. So that's something I'm learning. Uh oh. In my late 20s. For sure. Okay, number five will be what I'm learning about is my finances. Like I'll say money. Money and just like anything with finances. So. I'm not going to say like, okay, so before, in my early 20s, y'all, I was just kind of doing, I've never, let me stop lying, like, I've just never been, not going to say I've never been, but it's like, I was not very, like, strict about my money and stuff like that. I just really wasn't that strict about it, but it's like, now, 
that is like you gotta start now i'm in my late 20s and you know we gotta think about savings accounts you know what i'm saying you know like retirement you know like um what is it life insurance like i didn't see so many people pass around me like people passing and i'm just like they don't have any life insurance and you know i'm just like i have two life insurances because i'm like yeah no but i'm like if you don't have like that type of stuff like that stuff is really important and mind you like i wasn't really educated on that stuff when i was younger to be quite honest like i just really like i really wasn't educated on it and which i mean it is what it is but it's like i'm educated now and is now that i know the knowledge now i'm going to take advantage of that knowledge and be very mindful about how i'm you know what i'm saying like adjusting my finances and also as far as like getting into like multiple streams of income and stuff like that like if you guys don't know i have my own airbnb business but um yeah and that's really really cool or whatever but at the same time it's still like you know like <clears throat> just learn it like okay because me i'm the type of person where like i used to just go and be buying shit buying shit which i'm still trying to navigate how to work through my finances being just like financially like just responsible because like you just never know what can happen on a rainy day and i feel like us as people we really need to like women for sure because like i know girls like we want to spend we want to go to zara we want to go to h&m we want to go to all of that but listen i'm i will pay my, i gotta pay if i gotta pay my bills i'm gonna pay my bills before anything and you know that's just gonna be on that so i feel like that's like something that's really really important so let's do like number six um i'll say number six my camera just stopped but yeah i'll say for number six something i'm learning in my 20s is about having like self-care so like i'll say like last year is like when i really really started paying and really a lot, a lot of close attention to like my self-care and just as far as like how i just want to take care of myself within within and you know just like becoming just the woman that i want to be you know what i'm saying like just really showing up you know like i really just like you know i just want to show up for dariana like two like 10 years from now five years from now i just want to look back into myself like you know what i really you know really took the time to develop the person that i am heal from my wounds and you know like i feel like all of that is part of like self-care honestly because it's like it's yourself so it's like but, but despite going to go get your hair or nails done like all that shit does not matter if you're not inward if you're not like all like in like if you're not together as far as like inside and i feel like like last year i went to start i started to go to therapy because like self-care also has to do with like your mental you know what i'm saying like mental and like just yo know, just going to therapy and just getting you mentally right you know it's just like mentally and going to therapy and talking about like all of the things that have you know kind of tr like put some trauma into your life because like if you and i didn't know any about i wasn't educated about this stuff when i was younger and it's like you have to think like all of the things like your mom your dad all that stuff they went through like all that shit trickles down back to you so it's like all of the things that we go through as people you gotta start looking at it looking at yourself like you know what damn like where is this shit coming from why am i acting like this you know what i'm saying like what what has happened to me in my in my life or in my childhood that is causing me to be like this or causing me to just operate this way or you know saying whatever and i really had to take a really really deep look at myself and tell myself like you know darian i don't want to have like these traumas no more i don't want to have these wounds no more i want to heal because i want to be when i have children i want to be the best me that i could i want to be the best mother that i can possibly be, possibly be i'm not going to be perfect but i want to be the best mother that i can be i want to be a healed mother at that i don't want to be a broken mother and i feel like that's something very very important that has to do with your self-care because you know like I said, if yourself, if you're not right within yourself, you're not going to, you're not going to show up, period. And I started going to therapy, talking about my issues, talking about things that I went through, talking about previous relationships, friendships, all of that shit to really <clears throat> just 
tear off all of the layers of things that I just did not need no more and I'm still doing that and it's not easy it's hard but you know it's like it's necessary it's really necessary you really when I think about the woman I want to be 10 years from now I want to be successful I want to be a millionaire I want to be the first in my family to do some shit you know what I'm saying I want to you know create things for my children and you know like i want to be the first to do it so it's like i can't be doing that with no broken like the brokenness inside of me i can't do that i have to be whole so i feel like that's something that's really really been important to me you know and also me journaling i feel like that's another part of self-care like last year like i had wrote in my journal and i've been doing it like not consistently as of lately which i said i was going to get back to that but i've been doing it now for almost a year and i feel like that has really helped me like a lot as far as like expressing my emotions and just expressing how i feel about certain stuff because you know like that stuff you know like it, it's it's important to pour out pour out what you you know what i'm saying like pour out what you what's going on inside of you another is to kind of just give myself more grace you know what i'm saying like your self-credit is for like giving myself grace not being so hard on myself you know because i feel like after you go through all the things that you go through you know i feel like me personally i put up a certain type of mentality where it's like i try to do try to be like the best 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 all the time not even the best 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 but it's like when i feel like i'm not doing enough i feel like i'm just disappointing myself and i just had to tell myself like dariana you came so far from where you were like you came so far like you have grown so much give yourself some grace like you're not perfect i still have times where i was like i feel like i'll be self kind of self-sabotaging myself and i just have to kind of tell myself like dariana don't do that you know what i'm saying like don't be scared or don't do this because a lot of before i used to really doubt myself like i used to doubt myself i did not believe in myself at all and it's like now i'm in a space where it's like i'm kind of putting one foot in front of the other and it's like whatever however it is going to just if it don't make sense i'm just going to do it anyway and just see like whatever the outcome happens so i feel like that's just like a part of like my self-care journey really and then just like just being like more you know like conscious about like how you know i'm showing up like just like my character in general you know like just like the type of woman i want to be i want to be a good person i want to be a kind person so it's like i have to be kind to myself first and i feel like <clears throat> talking to myself speaking life into myself speaking positive words and stuff into myself and you know what i'm saying like i'm not talking about like we think about self-care is like oh we gotta get this do a pamper and all this other stuff it's like no like before you can do all that other stuff you have to work within first like i said so i'm speaking on the self-care because i have i feel like i'm doing as far as like the self-work like the inner inner work before i can start going to go but before we start thinking about going to get our nails done and stuff like that like that's not the type of self-care i'm talking about self-care i'm talking about is the self-care within so that's what i mean when i say like my self-care like my self-care you know saying journey because like i said at the end of the day when i'm not on this planet anymore i just want to be remembered as me being just an authentic genuine good person and i want to be remembered as me being kind and knowing that you know i showed up and i stay true to myself i stay true to the type of woman that i want to be and you know i made shit happen and that's just on that so you know like during like this journey and i'm still i'm still going sometimes i feel doubtful sometimes i feel like damn like what am i doing sometimes but i have to just you know have those prep talks and talks to myself like dariana you're doing you're on you're on the right path you're doing what you're supposed to be doing you know what i'm saying like even though sometimes i might feel like i'm getting sidetracked or i might feel like i'm not on my path everything that god is god is ordering my steps god is doing everything that he's supposed to do and everything that's happening to me is happening for a reason and i mean learn a lesson and keep it pushing you know so i don't know what that was a lot right i feel like i do like kind of a big big rant you know but i said i was gonna do seven but i think like that kind of just like wraps it up for me honestly you know but all in all you know being in your late 20s is an experience and i'm just learning to ultimately just be give myself some grace 
and just understand that I'm doing the best that I can and that I'm not perfect, but I'm doing the best that I can and that I'm going to make mistakes, you know, and I'm pretty sure when I'm in my 30s, I'm going to be looking back in my late 20s like, girl, you know, if you will just be more patient, that's another thing, being more patient with myself, like being patient, period. I'm not a patient person. So it's like, I'll be wanting instant shit, but not, I had to figure out like, Lord, it's not going to happen. Dariana, like, nothing is going to happen instantly. It's going to take time. And it's like, that is what's getting on my nerves. But it's okay because it's okay. It's okay. But yeah, like, <sighs> You know, it's just like when you're in your 20s, it's like you really kind of just like shed all of those old things that you used to do that you used to think was important, like going out to the club and, you know, like drinking and just like doing a bunch of dumb shit when it's just like, no, like now it's like you in, now I'm in my late 20s. Now I'm just really thinking like to myself, like, you know, like I got to be that girl okay like she gotta show up and she got to be her like i already am her but she got to be her her okay nothing more nothing less okay and that's just on that you know so just i'll say any woman who you're in your late 20s and if you're watching or even men whatever i don't know but i just say like you know just like trust the process like everything in my life that i felt like i was going through i was at times where i was at my lowest my lowest my lowest my lowest my lowest my lowest when i felt like i was just like at like my lowest and i just did not understand what was going on i'm like god why is this happening to me why 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 but eventually, you know, I had my epiphany. I had to wake the fuck up and I had to be like, you know what? No, remember who you are and get on your shit. And, you know, like, but understand that everything that has happened, every turning point, every situation, every breakup, every like friendship that's ended, everything that everything, everything that happened to you when you was a kid, all of those things are what is molding you to be who you are today right now and you got to show up and show out and you got to just keep growing and keep going so yeah my camera is about to die so yeah i really hope that you guys enjoyed this mukbang i know i just got done eating my food it wasn't a long 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 mukbang but you know i hope you guys enjoyed this video you know I just wanted to get on my camera just talk you know what I'm saying me I like to be in my car so I'm just chilling but yeah I hope you guys did like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you like me and you want to see more videos like little randoms like this and if y'all like my canes because my canes it was smacking it was good but yeah subscribe to me like this video if you don't if you do, if you don't, who knows? I might not even get no views. No, we ain't about to put that energy out there. You're going to get some views. Darian, you're going to get some views. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye.